supposed to find the area between these two curves. Uh, these are both x in terms of y functions, uh, so you've got to be aware of that. So the first one is a parabola opening uh, to the right, x equals y squared, and then the plus 1 means it's uh, shifted to the right one unit. So that's what we have drawn here. Um, this is a linear function. We can graph this one by plotting um, the two intercepts. So if x is 0, or actually let's see if y is 0, you can see that x is 3. So we'll have that as an intercept. And then if y or if x is 0, then it looks like y is negative 3. So 0, negative 3 is another one. Um, we can just connect these since it's a line. So let's go out something like this. Okay, so there's our linear function and the quadratic, and I think we can kind of see that the area between these two curves is this region right here. So for this problem, we're going to use horizontal rectangles. Okay, so uh, re remember from um, class that the area between curves defined like this is the right curve minus the left one. So in this case, the right curve is the uh, linear one. So we get a y plus 3 uh, minus the quadratic. That would be the leftward, leftmost function. And this is all with respect to y, so dy. Um, for the bounds, we need to uh, figure out the y intersection values of these, uh, or the y values for these intersection points here. So um, and my drawing is not that great, so I think we can just do this algebraically. Um, and we'll set the two functions equal to each other. So y squared plus 1 is equal to y plus 3. Uh, it's a quadratic equation. So that's y squared minus y minus 2 equals 0. And we can factor that. We get y minus 2, y plus 1. Okay, so that gives two y values, y equals 2 and y equals negative 1. Okay, so those are our bounds. Uh, we can put those in now, negative 1 and 2. And let me bring the rest of this down here. So. This then becomes, let's put this in order, uh, combine our like terms. We're going to have negative y squared uh, plus y, 3 minus 1, so that'll be plus 2. So that's the integral we need to find. So we'll find our antiderivative uh, negative 1 third y cubed plus one half y squared plus two y evaluating this between negative one and two and here we can just quickly zip through the arithmetic and at the end of all of this fast writing we should get nine halves as shown on the worksheet